where the last one ended. And what you're going to want to do here is click the finish with the start filezilla now. That's just fine. That's exactly what we want to do. And wait for Windows to load that. Okay. Yep. Okay. Now, uh, what you're going to want to do is there's no sites here. You click up on this thing. This is your connection manager here. You click on that and go ahead and click new site and call it whatever you want. I'm going to access my Garuda legal site and the host name here is garudalegal.com. That's mine. And I don't need to do anything here except for click on normal, switch that from normal. I mean, from anonymous to normal. Then I'm going to put in my username and password for uh, HostGator. And then I'm going to click Connect. And it looks like I'm connected. Now, my the next step here is to look. Here's a number of things here. And what we really want is we want to access our... WordPress site. So that's contained in the public HTML. Now the first site you ever make with HostGator is going to be in this public HTML. Now also contained in here are my other sites. They're subdirectories within the public HTML, but you'll see WordPress admin, WordPress content, WordPress includes, uh, the critical directories are all there. And if I come down, here's really important uh, files here, you know, especially this wp-config.php, absolutely critical. Now, what you would do is next is you're going to want to get to your uh, backup that is contained in your Dropbox folder. So that's on my C drive. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what? This system, because it is shared, is it's in my host because. It is not in my, uh, it's not in the same system even because this is a virtual machine. But in my instance, it's under users. Uh, my name is Jose. And then there's a Dropbox folder here. And then what you're going to find inside, I decided to save my uh, WordPress to Dropbox under apps just to get it off of the root directory inside of Dropbox. But wherever you saved it, it's there. And then there's the WordPress uh, backup to Dropbox. And here is my Garuda Legal backup. And you'll see that most of the important files are here. Now, I recently had a terrible, tragic failure. And part of that was that not everything actually copied over. I hope that is not the case for you. But critical files were not copying. Anyway, what you can do is you can just highlight all of this stuff by clicking the top one, pressing the shift button, then clicking the bottom one, and then you just take it over here and you drag, drop, and release. Now, if there's a duplication, which there will be, you're going to want to tell it to replace the files on the server. So that should copy your site over.